Hello everybody, welcome back. We're looking at Fazenda today. And I have took a little sneak peek at it, so I'm definitely doing a review on it. So you might want to stick around and see what all it has. So coming in, I don't really mind some of the stuff that's in it. But I'll leave that for y'all to decide. You can tell that it's got some really massive farms on it. Like, it's going to be full, almost three and a half million to buy this one. Three million to buy this one. 1.3 to buy that one. So, some of these lands is going to be pretty hard to get. But, that's fine. That gives you something to shoot for. Uh, you do get field six, and we will check that out. I have not. They offer a great deal to start up on. So we jump in already up to seven R. Uh, they definitely like John Deere, which who doesn't? Uh, I don't like starting off really big and you start off with a lot of big stuff but this is a very big map so for people who loves the big equipment and loves the big maps I think you're gonna find this map interesting if you don't want to start off with all the livestock placement just delete and the dog I noticed that the house is the uh, Looks just like the house my boy GNG modding did, which is pretty cool to see something different. So, this deer, I, I like a really big challenge, so I might sell some of these and scale down a little bit. But if you like them, there they are. <clears throat> and I'm going to get up in the air just a little bit because I want you to see the map. Because even though it seems like it might be a bunch of squared off farms and stuff. It's actually is a really nice looking farm. You got your little cluster of trees kind of outlining your farm and stuff. A tower right here in the middle. And they do this right here several times. This silos and stuff. But each one of them is a little bit different I found. Kind of like this one here is small. I'll show you another one here in a minute. That's actually is a sell point. But. Yeah this is. This is pretty cool. I like the. Flammable tanks. For. I assume natural gas options. But the farms you would think would be, from looking at it from the top, would be really flat, but it is not. They are a little bit hilly, which is just enough hilly to uh, give them a little character, make them feel more realistic. A little small uh, forest area. I haven't checked to see if it can be bought yet on all some maps. It can't. Tire there in the middle, which again, like I said, stuff like that that I noticed, even though the trees look purposely planted, uh, it's still not that bad. It's just because we're looking at it from above. But I mean, most farmers isn't going to be able to come around an electrical tire, so having a little spot for uh, trees and stuff to be around is pretty cool. And again, even over here. They may be flat, but they're not perfectly flat, which gives them, like I said, a little bit of life. Let's see, here's that what I was talking about, the little shed design next to silos, but they're all a little bit different. This is kind of interesting. I don't know why there's two soccer fields in the middle of this right here, but that's, it's not um, a country I wouldn't actually be familiar with, so 
I mean, I mean, listen to this music and stuff. That's cool. I love it. I love when people adds kind of like a little flavor to a map. Here's your store, which is a little bit different. And this here is pretty cool. I'm surprised it's one of these tractors, though, instead of a John Deere. But sitting there displaying and turning and stuff is a really nice touch. This might not be something too uncommon for a lot of people to see in maps, but I had a break from a PC version for a couple years, so I was on Xbox version. I did 17, but it was on PC, but it was kind of early into release, and then I switched over to Xbox for the achievements because I was playing Fortnite and everything else. Here's the other one. See, it's still one of these shelters with uh, silos, and which is really cool because I haven't seen a lot of stuff like that. You can tell how massive it is because, I mean, literally there's a semi. But here's another field which, like I said, from above, they all look flat, but that's why I don't like doing a lot of fly-throughs, and I like doing this kind of a fly-through, because you can zoom in and actually check stuff out, and I mean, this is about the flattest part I have seen, and you get slightest bit looking all white, and you start seeing it rise, but it's a natural rise, so... I like it. I like it when they got a little naturalness to it. Like I said, that one corner over there is our part looks flat, but I mean, who cares? I don't mind flat maps. Michigan is, um, like I said, it's my favorite multiplayer map, and it's flat. I like the little grown up section that wasn't taken care of kind of helps uh, kind of kill that whole squared up feeling as you can see by the green dot all this right here in this section is all yours so if you're in a grass silage and I am I love it so you definitely have an area for grass silage and it shows that you're on this part too which is field six so I mean if you just want to make the game even harder you could sell that and then come over and just do grass silage or I mean, you can't really sell field one at all, but I mean, you can fill, sell field six, and you can even turn this into a field if you use the, um, uh, let me show you, I'll show it in all my videos, in the plows, it's download chisel plow, it's wide, it's not that crooked stuff that I grew up with as a kid and everything else. This does allow for making fields if you go to lower it or if you go to fold it. It says missing. It'd be nice if somebody get a hold of that and update this. This is my favorite plow. I use it to make fields all the time and adjoin fields. And for a plow, it's awesome. It just it makes not uh, using a plow a lot better. So as you can see, you don't get a vehicle but you do get the John Deere which is fine I love the 7 bar <clears throat> it's one of my favorite ones to use in the game
and to tackle this right here would be enormous so really got no problem with it being a 7R on this map because if you start off small like I like to do and I still might do it even then it would be enormous but it uh, would allow you to do whatever you want the way you want so check one more thing so there is nothing planted in six at all so you got the freedom to put down whatever crops you want but pretty nice amount I don't think you'll go wrong playing it don't look like there's a uh, plenty of cell points and if you don't want to use theirs you can always put down a mod but I wouldn't I think it's not it's just the way it is you can tell just by standing here how natural this looks so it's a very nice looking map I don't think y'all gonna mind it at all like share subscribe all that's free comment tell me what you think about the map what you like and don't like so others can know so enjoy everybody